Good morning, Community Dinner fam. Uh, Josh here. So great to uh, just give you an update this morning on community dinners that happened last night uh, in Chehalis. We had 14 people come uh, for drive up there. Uh, in Centralia, you had 44, and in Bucota, 47, I believe, is what we served last night. So great night of people uh, just coming and getting meals. And again, our second week in a row that we were inside at Centralia, um, which was a, a great thing. You know, there wasn't a lot of people that stayed in with us, but uh, I got to sit and have a conversation with a 92-year-old gentleman named Charles. He has no family in the area. Uh, has lived at Lewis and Clark a long time and uh, he's uh, really hard of hearing so I felt like I was yelling a lot but man it was such a great conversation with him just to connect with him and learn about his life and it just really struck me how community dinner is one of the main things that we are doing is we are we are taking the gospel in a meal and the people that are isolated they don't have family they don't have friends especially since COVID happened, they've been isolated and Charles came down and we are bringing people like him and giving them family. That's what we're doing. Last night I was like his uh, son or grandson sitting there just chatting with him and talking about life and love. And I got to ask him about his faith and, and you know, it was just a great conversation and that's what we're doing. He, he hopefully feels like that he has, I, I know he does. Uh, he said he has a hard time remembering. And uh, I said, well, how do you remember Tuesdays? He said, I don't miss this. This is on my memory. I look forward to Tuesdays. That's what he said. And he thanked our cooks. He thanked our team over and over again for being there. And uh, I'm praying for Charles. I don't know where he is in his faith journey. Uh, I know he has some faith background, but you know, 92, probably not a lot of years left on this earth, but he has family and community dinners. That's what we're doing together, just praying and believing for the time we can all be in round tables again, bringing people into family, not only into our family, into our lives, but into the family of God and into eternity. And that's what I want to see. I know that's what you want to see. So thank you for serving. Thank you for cooking. Thank you for all the things that you do and let's keep on with community dinners. And by the way, um, you'll see uh, in this email, there's a link to our new Facebook page that I created uh, for community dinners, um, helpers and volunteers. And uh, I want you to go ahead and go to that link and like that page. And what we're gonna do there is we're gonna begin retraining for community dinners, recasting vision so that we remember why we're doing the dinners, so that we're catching that vision, so that we are doing the things that we are uh, meant to be doing so we can establish churches in these dinners. And so uh, please like that. The first uh, kind of introduction video is there and I'm gonna be releasing training videos just to help us keep, keep, help keep all of us on the same page. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys, and we'll talk soon.